You've seen them in the ceiling. You've seen them in a lampshade. You've held them in your hands. But did you ever think a water bottle could also be a light source? Hi, I'm Sandy, and I'm going to show you how I'm using one to make cycling brighter. To be more visible in the dark, cyclists usually connect a white blinking light to the front of their bike and a red blinking light to the back. This works pretty well, but you can only see the lights from the front and the back. So being a keen cyclist myself, I wanted to make bikes more visible from the side. I figured that since most cyclists already carry a water bottle, that would be a great place to start. I'm an industrial designer which involves using science, engineering and art to create products that people interact with. To make the safety bottle light, my first step was simply to sketch a few different ideas for designs and features. And once I've got the basic concept on paper, it's time to move to a more high-tech approach. I used special computer-aided design software that allowed me to create a 3D model of my designs. Then I could adjust the dimensions and add a lot more detail. When the model was finished, it was time to build prototypes so I could really test out the design. Sometimes I could use 3D printers to build my prototypes one thin layer of plastic at a time but I needed to send other designs away to manufacturing companies to build them for me. Each prototype needed to be put through its paces so we would know that it would work just as planned. The most important thing is that the model be able to distribute light effectively. I found that wide-angled LED lights work the best because they cast a lot of light in many directions. I also found that bottles which were only partially see-through actually made the lights easier to see. In the end, I settled on two systems, a cage that you could put your old water bottle in and a new, totally different bottle, both systems with lights in the base. The battery-operated light simply clips in securely to either object. You remove it when it needs to be recharged. When you're ready to go for a ride, you just attach the device to your bike, then turn it on and take off. The settings can be changed so it's on constantly or flashes on and off. You can see that because the bottle light has such a large surface area, it makes the bike much more visible from all sides. So far this bottle is one of a kind, but it won't be long till they're lighting up production lines and bicycles everywhere. <laughs>